shoulder surfing, trimming, turning, and pushing. The next goal is to surf in parallel with the shoulder. How do you get there? The easiest way to paddle into a green wave is to go into the push-up at the point of acceleration and then steer by shifting your weight towards the shoulder. Then you jump up. Another possibility is to angle the takeoff. Do not paddle into the wave in a straight line but at a tilted angle. This takeoff is applied mainly with rapid, steeply breaking waves. However, this requires good timing because if you lie at an angle in front of the wave, you will make yourself vulnerable and will be hammered by the white water with the smallest mistake. The takeoff with the following turn on the shoulder is a lot of fun and is how we come to the curved rides or turns. In order to automate the necessary sequences of motion, you at first practice turns on the inside. Trimming. Trimming the board in the hot spot functions both in a lying position or standing upright. To brake, you exert pressure on the tail with the rear foot. In order to accelerate, you shift your body weight forwards. In order to initialize a curve or turn, you shift your weight again to the tail. Practice trimming at first until you have developed a good feeling for the right dosage and then continue with turning. Turning. You should stand centrally on your board in the hot spot. Trim with the rear foot on the tail. In this way the board rides upwards and gets a better amount of torque. The direction of view is also the riding direction. Field of vision, shoulder and front foot lead the board in the desired direction. After the turn you trim with the front foot forwards in order to accelerate. At first, you will lose speed by turning, therefore, your board must be really fast before the turn. In the turn, you have to keep the speed of your board as high as possible with well-dosed amounts of trimming. If you stand too long or too hard on the tail, you will lose control. When you have trimming down pat and turning on the inside, you can apply the same techniques on the green wave. Back to the green wave takeoff with the turn. Paddle to catch the wave, feel the point of acceleration, jump up. Exert measured amounts of pressure on the tail and turn with your line of sight and front hand towards the shoulder. Now exert pressure on the nose and accelerate. Positioning. Controlled surfing is when the board moves at a continuously high speed. And it goes like this. You are fast as long as you glide down the shoulder. When you reach the trough, you will slow down. Therefore, before you slow down, you must exert pressure on the tail, brake, and thus again move upwards on the wave. In order not to lose the wave, quickly weight the front again, accelerate, and glide once more down the wave. Basically, we divide a shoulder into the top, center, and the trough, the so-called bottom. You are safest in the center, the middle section of the wave, because here, the wave has the most thrust and the surfboard remains fast and controllable. You can stay only briefly on the top of the wave because otherwise you will lose control and it will plunge you into the depths. You should also only spend a short time in the trough so as not to lose the contact of the shoulder. Optimally, you control your board with small turns in the center of the wave. The more experience you gain with trimming in the center, the more pronounced your turns will be. And at the same time, you will leave the center of the wave and ride your first bottom and top turns. It is important that initially you ride them less drastically but at a continuously high speed. Pushing. While trimming in the center of the wave you can also deliberately accelerate your board. We call this pushing. The correct position on the wave combined with well-timed pushing is not only the most effective but also the most elegant way to keep the board fast. It goes like this. 
Already during the takeoff, your view initializes the ride in the direction of the shoulder. Go into the curve with bent knees. During the turn, you stretch your body and transfer the thus generated pressure onto the board. With the rear foot lightly trim on the tail, open your shoulders in the direction of the trough and therefore steer towards the bottom of the wave. At this moment, the board remains fast because it glides down the wave. Before you leave the center of the wave, pull up on the board again with your line of vision and shoulders to the top of the wave. The rear foot and the shoulder again initialize the gentle top turn. A moment later, the rear foot and front shoulder again initialize the gentle turn in the direction of the trough. Stretching completely in the bottom turn has to be done fluidly and in the right dose. Only then will the board accelerate again. The faster you ride your board, the more you surf it on the edge. That means that the underside of the board barely lies flat on the water's surface, and only the rail carving through the water guides your board. Pay particular attention to the control of the guiding rail. S-Curves No matter which maneuver you ride, a single turn achieves nothing. If after the takeoff you only concentrate on the bottom turn, shortly after you will lose control on the lip. Think in S-curves. For example, always combine two maneuvers nicely and cleanly. Bottom turn, top turn, and then you are back again in the starting position. The next S-curve combination then takes place. Speed and control are the keys to success, since without necessary speed you will not finish a sweeping maneuver in a controlled fashion. Now that you know that speed and control are the keys to success, the quickest way to achieve this is with short S-curve combinations in the center of the wave. 